Hello and welcome to our computer literacy course level one. Uh, it looks like my computer is ready to go. I'm all booted up, all systems nominal, and we're ready for the lesson. I'm just going to go ahead and open my PowerPoint up. And we got it open. Okay, this is our computer literacy course level one. Let's get started. Okay, this presentation serves as an instructional aid for learning computer basics. Please note that this is not a full computer course, but a general guide that covers the most fundamental topics. This session is sponsored by an educational grant through Title V. I'm your instructor, Sid Sanchez. Okay, we're looking at this PowerPoint presentation, and I'm not going to really read everything word for word. I'm just going to go ahead and give you uh, a breakdown of some of the information that's here. If you want to look at the PowerPoint, it is uh, conveniently located on our website if you want to go ahead and download it there and take a look at it more in detail by yourself. Uh, what we're looking at is what is a computer? Um, a computer is a programmable machine designed to sequentially and automatically carry out a sequence of arithmetic or logical operations. So what the, pretty much this says is a computer comes with uh, programs that you input information to into them and it gives you uh, a, a desired function. This this works out through a system, you know, that has a memory, a central processing unit, and these work together to give you the operation that you're looking at, which is you know the computer that you're looking at right now, and which you're trying to learn how to use a little better. All right, so moving on, we go to what is a Windows PC. A Windows PC is relatively the the most popular right now in the market in terms of a uh, market shares or uh, consumer um, related <laughs> uh, for lack of better words it's it's the one that controls the market the most right now and the reason for that being is that they're relatively inexpensive computers and they're really easily customizable and uh, they they perform very well and they're they're tried and true and so this is why we have Windows PCs today the next thing we're going to talk about is what is a Mac a Macintosh is pretty much um, the same thing as a PC, it just has a different operating system. Uh, they're, they're great computers as well, they're just a little bit on the pricey end if you don't have a lot of money to spend, then definitely a PC would be something to consider. Uh, I mean the Macs are great, they have their Apple computers are, and they're, they're great in their own sense, but um, they are a bit pricier for, for the entry level. Okay, and the next thing we're going to look at is, is what is a laptop. Um, Okay, so what we're looking at here, if I can point my mouse over here, is an example of a desktop. You can see here that it, can, it combines a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse, and you know your tower. And a desktop here is more sleeker. You're looking at a monitor, and you got your keyboard, and there's one uh, one unit that's portable and easy to carry, but is limited by battery life. And so you have to look at those factors too. Um, we're not going to cover tablets because uh, they're relatively new, we'll cover them a little bit later, but they're definitely a newcomer and uh, we're going to stick around for the operating system that is Windows, uh, which is what you'll be using for uh, some of the online courses or uh, different, different assignments that you get throughout your uh, school courses or whatever courses you're taking, or even not even taking any courses, it doesn't matter. It's that's what you're going to be using the most, okay? If you have a Windows PC. So, okay. So, uh, yeah. Moving on. What is a mouse? A mouse is what you're looking at uh, here in this picture. Uh, usually, if you're not looking at one, if you're looking at a laptop, you'll be looking at a little trackpad that's located maybe at the bottom end of your uh, computer uh, or on your keyboard. At the bottom of your keyboard, it looks like a little square, and you'll notice that you'll it'll, you'll have two little mouse buttons in the same fashion that we have here in this mouse. Uh, if you're looking at the mouse, it's the same thing. It operates the same. You have your two buttons. Perhaps maybe yours is a little scroll wheel here that allows you to go back and forth. Oops, see, I moved mine. And uh, we'll, we'll we'll learn how to use that a little bit later. I'll go into more into detail. Next thing I'm going to look at is your keyboard. Uh, you're looking at your keyboard on your computer. If you have a desktop, it'll look more like uh, the previous slide here, where it's a uh, it's a separate unit, uh, and you got your mouse. And or if you have a laptop, you'll see that it's integrated here into a single unit. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. I know it's a lot of keys, but just don't be intimidated. Uh, it's definitely the best input method. And we'll go over some of some of the little commands a little bit later. So we're back to the keyboard. 
we're looking at what is a monitor a monitor is is uh if you have a desktop pc this is what your monitor would be displaying it works in function with your tower and your tower relays back and forth information and gives you a graphic user interface so you can look at okay the next thing we're going to cover is what is a flash drive uh i'm sure you've heard about flash drives they're a little device that allow you to store multiple files into a conveniently sized uh conveniently sized i don't know uh stick <laughs> yeah if i want to call it a gum stick yeah uh they all look different but they're all relatively the same in operation um i guess uh you might come across different brands or you might come across different styles and you might be wondering uh which one's a better brand they all really work just the same so they're relatively inexpensive nowadays so you can get a good one for about ten dollars okay and I, I really recommend these they're really portable and they hardly ever fail uh, i remember i had to use you know like uh those old discs and man those things would fail all the time so this is a lot of improvement compared to what that was okay move on to the next slide we're going to look at the compact disc a compact disc is uh the cd drive that 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 door that you see on your computer and uh when you when you click on it it allows you to put in a cd or a dvd or you know a blu-ray or whatever um it is a great media tool you can store information on it uh but the only drawback is if you scratch them a lot of the information gets ruined and if it's something that you really want to keep permanently stored it's just a flash drive just because uh cds are susceptible to getting a little bit of wear and tear uh, the next thing we're going to look at is what is a printer. A printer is what uh, you see. What you see here, pretty much what it does is you tell it to print something, and it prints it on paper. What you're looking at on the screen. Okay. And the next thing we're going to look at is how to use a mouse. Okay. All right. So we're going to look at this relatively in a simple fashion. So I'm just going to go ahead and maybe just uh, minimize this program, and we're going to go ahead and go into Word. Okay. So, if you don't have Word, you can just follow along uh, with um, whatever word processing software that you have, whether it be Works or Google Office. Uh, we're going to be focusing on Word because that's what we have here on our campus the most. And Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and type in a line, and we're going to go with the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog as an example okay all right so all right so you, you got your mouse we're not pushing any buttons yet okay but what you can see is I can position this any any uh, on any word if I click on it once say I click on it a single time left click I click on it and you can see that the cursor moves to that point in the line Okay, I go ahead and move over to a different point in the sentence, clicking back and forth, and you can see that I'm traveling through a certain specific point in the line. I can go in between letters, in between words, but just by a simple left click. Okay, this is a single click. Okay, so now for example, say, uh, why don't you go ahead and double click a word, see what happens, okay? And double click is, in a, is a quick motion. You're going to focus on your left mouse button, and you're going to click it twice in a quick fashion. So you're going to go one and two. And what you can see there is that it highlights the entire word. I can do this for the whole sentence. Uh, you know, see, just select single words just by double clicking on it. Okay. So say, for example, um, the next command that we're going to look at is uh, the triple click. Say, okay, so say, for example, you wanted to highlight the whole line. So we're going to go ahead and practice triple clicking here on the line. And we're going to click on it uh, three times. So one, two, and three. Uh, you got to do that in a quick fashion. And you can see that it highlights the entire line. And uh, let's go ahead and practice that one more time, OK? One, two, three. You see that selects the entire line just by clicking on it uh, three times. This is specifically useful for when you want to highlight the, the entire line and just not worry about it. Uh, okay, so yeah, so we saw how that highlighted the the entire the entire uh, sentence. Like, okay, so we click on it, and you see how that highlights it three times. Alternatively, you can do this with a mouse by putting it in the beginning of the sentence, right, and then holding your left button down, your left mouse button down. Okay, 
press it down and, and hold it don't don't let go of it okay and then you can drag here to the right hand side and you'll notice that it highlights the, the, the line in the same fashion that we did it with a triple click okay so yeah just keep that in mind that you can do that with your mouse as well in the same fashion okay now back to our PowerPoint presentation alright the next thing we're going to look at is your keyboard uh, I told you I would teach you some commands in the keyboard and I'm gonna go ahead and deliver okay alright so we're back here to our Word document and I want you to go ahead and triple click on the line the same the same way we were doing before okay so with your word processor still open go ahead and triple click and this highlights the, the entire line okay now the next command that I'm gonna teach you is copy and paste okay so you're looking at your keyboard and I want you to find the control key the control key is usually located on the lower left hand side of the keyboard it is spelled out CTRL. Uh, yeah, I know that doesn't sound that much as control, but yeah, that's the abbreviation for it. So I want you to go ahead and find the control key located locate on the left, lower left hand corner of your keyboard. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and press the control key and leave it pressed, like hold it down. All right, so we're looking at the line it's selected, and now I want you with the control key pressed down, I want you to find the C letter. C is in calico or or coral okay alright so control and then press C once and let it go okay and you'll notice that it doesn't really do anything but it's an invisible command so I want you to get your mouse move over to the end of the line and press the enter key okay so when you press the enter key you'll notice I will go down to a new line alright so you're looking at the next line right and we're gonna do control and V V is in vendetta okay so you push it control leave the control key press down and press the V key alright see that it copies what you just highlighted and moves it onto a different line so if you press control and V you can have multiple instances of what you just did uh, this is especially useful uh, if you're if you're looking for uh, say you're typing a paper and you have a line that you want to you want to have it go somewhere and you want to have it uh, move to the I don't know the beginning of the paragraph you can just you know grab a chunk of the line control and C and I don't know maybe move a couple spaces down with the enter key and you do control and V and you'll see that it it moves it to the the spot that I want it. You can also do this with your mouse, but um, I just wanted to show you the keyboard way because it's a lot faster. Okay, so say for example, we're back here with my mouse, all right? I can do this the same way. Okay, I highlight it how I told you. You go to the left hand of the sentence, like all the way to the furthest left, and you put the cursor there. You press down on your left click, you left click on your left mouse button, you left click, yeah? So, and you drag it over here and alright so when you let it go you hover your mouse and this time you're gonna right click so when you right click you can see that you can do the same thing which is copy which was, was control C for us alright and then we move a couple of spaces down and then uh, uh, right on the cursor this is a little tricky but okay you gotta put your your mouse cursor here on top of the cursor here that you see blinking alright and you're gonna right click and once you right click you have all these options here but we're gonna go ahead and keep text only okay and you see that it made a, another instance the same the same way that we did with the keyboard so alright one more time alright we highlight what we need control and C we move over to the line or, or, or the line in the empty space where we want it and we do control and V is in vendetta and you can see that we copied and pasted which is a which is a really really great command to save time so I really want you to go ahead and practice it a few times if you don't get it right the first couple of times alright so moving on to 